Hello, this is Harjit Man Singh, Fast and Safati Technical Support Senior Engineer. In this video, I'm going to show how to create or add a new component and mixture in Fast and Safati. I'm using Fast 8.23 for the purpose of this demonstration. However, this video is applicable to all Fast and Safati users using version 7.0 onwards. By default, Fast has 61 pure components available in the normal user mode. These components are captured under the system components in the admin materials program. These core materials are fully specified. And all property data is available for immediate use. When setting up your model in FAST, you can select the component in the system components directly. When specifying the material within an equipment in the FAST program window, the material, whether it's flammable, toxic, or both, can be identified from the label next to the material name. FAST is not limited to the materials available in the standard system component. You can add new materials in order to perform consequence and risk calculations for those materials in FAST and Sofati. One way of adding new component is to the admin materials program. This program is installed when you install FAST or Sofati. To access admin materials, first make sure that the application is closed. Search and click for admin materials application for the version that you're using. To log in, you will be requested for a password. The password is Technica with a capital T. In the admin material, you will see all the pure components available in FAST or Safeti under the System Components folder. The admin materials has further 1,600 materials from the deeper database. To add a component from the deeper database, right-click on the System Components folder and click on Insert Pure Component. Each component has a unique CAS number assigned to it by the Chemical Abstract Service. You can search for the component you want to add by name or by cast number. In this demonstration, I'm going to add isobutane. Any new component will be added to the bottom of the system components list. The pure component added from the deeper database may or may not have complete data. The exclamation mark in the red circle on the top left corner of the component indicate incomplete data. If there is incomplete data, you must supply this data in order for it to be used in FAST and Safeti. How to complete the material properties is covered in another how-to video. If the component you are looking for is not in the deeper database, you can add the component by inserting a new component. Rename the new component and supply the missing data. You can also add a new component by copying and pasting an existing component, renaming the component, and edit the properties. When renaming the component, ensure to give it a unique name. Duplicating an existing name will give you an error. You should also avoid giving a name identical to one of the components in the deeper database. Within the admin materials, you could also add mixtures under the system mixtures. To add a mixture, right-click to insert a mixture. Rename the mixture. Double-click on the mixture and create the mixture as you normally would in FAST and Safeti. Once you have inserted the components and mixtures and supplied the missing data, save the file. Describe the change and close the application. Once the change has been saved, you will be able to see the new component 
and mixtures in the Fast and Sofetti program window. Only Fast and Sofetti program in your computer will be able to see the new components and mixtures. This is because the materials file is located locally on your computer. The materials file is called matls.xml. You can find the materials file in this folder, depending on the version that you're using. You can share the materials file with others in your organization. When you make changes to the materials file, a backup of the original copy will be created with a numerical number at the end. You can use this to restore the original material file if necessary. I suggest to create a copy of the original material file and renaming it such as matls underscore original dot xml. With this, you can easily identify the materials file and restore the original materials file. Thank you for listening and if you have any questions or would like to get in touch, please email digital at dnvgl.com.